There are two sides to every issue, unless it's political, and then there are four sides, Liberal, Conservative, NDP, and Green. Tonight, I'm joined by Representative Canada's opposition. This is our 22 Minutes Other Side panel. Michelle Rempel is the Conservative MP for the great riding of Calgary Nose Hill. Nathan Cullen is the NDP MP for Skeena Bulkley Valley. And Elizabeth May is the MP for Saanich Gulf Islands and leader of the Green Party. Good evening. Thank you. Now, Elizabeth and Nathan, you represent the good tree-hugging people of British Columbia. And our Prime Minister was just in Nanaimo, where some pipeline protesters really threw him off script. Take a look. The other part of... Oh, come on! Come on! Really? Really? How do you think the PM's Come Shout At Me tour is going? I don't know. You know, I, I know Justin was leaving Parliament because there was too much shouting. You know, he went on the road to talk to Canadians, and, th and the shouting followed him. So I'm starting to wonder <laughs> if he might be the problem. Elizabeth, should he have waited to go to B.C. until after he legalized weed? Would that have calmed things down a little? I think that going to British Columbia and with the opening volley, we're going to build this pipeline no matter what, and all the environmental groups pointing out that if this project goes ahead, the southern resident killer whale population goes extinct. Elizabeth, it only took you less than a minute to get in. All the whales are going to die. So that was great. <laughs> Let's take a look at this week in allegations. NDP MP Eric Weir, Claude Eric Gagné, the former Deputy Director of Operations and Prime Minister, and Ontario PC Party President Rick Dykstra, all under investigation for inappropriate behavior. It seems like this bad behavior is rampant in the political world, one person in the House did uh, stand up and uh, talk about the demeaning behavior that happens uh, to women in politics, and I don't think anyone could have said it better, and it is our own Michelle Rempel. Have a listen. Women are still touched. Our hair is still stroked. Our shoulders are still rubbed. We're still given hug and cheek kisses that ling linger a bit too long. So many of us are bystanders to harass harassment, leaving a woman to, in Megan's word, extract yourself the laugh and some good-natured ribbing, and then silently cry to yourself on your way home. I don't think anyone could have put it any better. Michelle, I wish you were holding a microphone so you could have dropped it at the end. Hopefully we don't have to have that debate again, Mark, and hopefully we're going to see some real change. Yeah. Now, speaking of allegations, Elizabeth, three former Green Party staffers came forward with uh, allegations that you, sweet Elizabeth May, bullied staff by yelling, insulting them, even slamming a door. And as leader of the Green Party and as sole member of Parliament, you have launched an investigation into yourself. So, Elizabeth, have you found yourself yet? I didn't launch it. I asked the party to do it because I don't think it's enough for me to say to people, look, I'm not like that. Those things didn't happen. It's important that people have the, con you know, the confidence because they could turn around, and, like Michelle said, very eloquently, this has got to be a nonpartisan issue. Sorry, so. Elizabeth, we're having a little trouble hearing you speak. Can you speak up just a little louder? Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't fall okay, for it. Elizabeth, don't fall for you've got to calm down. You have to stop <laughs> shouting. Yeah. All right, just like, now, I never thought of you as a bullying kind, but after seeing those protests in B.C. yelling at the PM, I'm starting to wonder if you were just trying to fit in. But, Elizabeth, I am going to test your temper with a clip from last week with Canada's most respected climate change expert talking about climate change. Listen to this. He predicts six more weeks of cold weather. Now, I'd like to ask you with your left-wing pinkle friends. Yes. What about the warming trend? Like, what, like where does that come now? You know all about that. But oh. what? We, Do you really want to get into that? No, I'm just asking you. Know, the kookaloos are already saying the warming trend. We're freezing to death. <laughs> now, Elizabeth, as a kookaloo, how's your temper now? Yeah, I like, I know, my hum I like my climate scientists to actually know something about science. So let's, let's stick I want with, to use uh, kookaloos <laughs> in the House of Commons. I, 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 is that parliamentarian, Elizabeth? Let's I need out. to know ahead of time. No, I like, that's, I, you look, kookaloo. There's, no like, thing, there's nothing great. about Don Jerry Kukaloo. That, that I worry about because he's not going to be in the House Kukaloo. of Commons. But the reality of parliamentary language is a different standard than what we do for fun. And finally, a Tom Mulcair saw his shadow this week and took a job teaching at the University of Montreal, indicating six more months of Jugmeet saying not having a seat. Um, I used to play Tom on the show, but now I'm going to retire my beard. Any thoughts on Tom? Nathan, you're one of the people who stabbed him in the back. Any thoughts on Tom? This is, this is my homage to Tom, is, is the beard. I haven't gotten up to full Tom Mulcair beard stature. So you got stature. your Mulcair beard on. Uh, I've Michelle, got my Mulcair beard on. Michelle, Mulcair Elizabeth, anything you'd like to say about Tom Mulcair? Well, I, I heard that Tom's going to uh, find... Canadian University or potentially going there. I think it's a great addition. It probably won't do much to the whole narrative around Canada's universities becoming havens for left-wing Marxists. But hey, you know, <laughs> we, wish him the, we wish him the best. I'd like to thank Michelle Rample, Nathan Cullen, Elizabeth May for joining us. Uh, Michelle, I will give you the last word. Kukaloo. The other side panel.
Thanks for sticking around. There's more laughs here. And you can subscribe for all new 22-minute sketches every day throughout the season. Every day, we could be like Paul and Linda McCartney and never be apart. <laughs>